Welcome back to the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. I'm Violet Housethorpe, joined this week by Mark Sherry. You just heard Devin Resnick doing These Tears. Before that, Sage Hatfield with Plastic Roses. And starting off that block, Avery Sharp with Harlem and the War to End All Wars. Ooh, where should we start? Well, let's start out with Harlem and the War to End All Wars. Solid name, Good first topic. off, but yeah. Uh, Avery Sharp is... A jazz name that people know. If you know anything about jazz, the name Avery Sharp's probably come up before. And he's from Springfield, Massachusetts, which is always great. Probably one of the 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 premier uh, jazz bass players ever, mm-hmm. and uh, and an amazing songwriter as well. He plays the big the big double bass. Yeah, he's a double bass player and probably one of the best of the best. He's played with so many legends in the jazz scene. Like he played with Art Blakey. He played with McCoy Tyner. He's he's good. He's seriously yeah. good. <laughs> he spent 23 years with McCoy Tyner. Uh, they they recorded 20 albums together. Yeah, and... you can't keep that kind of thing going unless you're really really good at what you do and he is. Yeah, and th- this particular tune is, I, I just think, is superb. It's, uh, you know, the bass in it, as always, is is great, and there's a killer sax part in this as well. Absolutely. there It really floats in a very interesting way, like the way the changes come gives it a really particular energy, this sort of intense melancholy or drama to it. There, there's It's a very evocative piece. Well, I guess it's with that title, Harlem and the War to End All Wars. Yeah. Um, boy, <laughs> that that's a heavy title. And yeah, I, it I lives guess, up to uh, it. Yeah. 100%. Well, we followed that tune up with um, an artist, uh, a new artist out of Brattleboro, Vermont. Um, Avery, by the way, is uh, out of the Springfield, Mass area and is a professor at UMass as well. Mm-hmm. And so... Lots of jazz students are gaining incredible knowledge out of him. At UMass. Yeah. Sage Hatfield out of Brattleboro, Vermont, um, and his tune Plastic Roses. You know, I guess he's he's the kind of artist that's very self-deprecating, mm. um, makes remarks about, you know, himself. You know, uh, he says his songs are uh, songs for sad New Englanders. You know, it's, I hear it. Yeah, I hear it. The lyrics are clever with that, with the topic as it is. It's very cleverly done, which is always a good thing. If you're if you're self-deprecating, you might as well do it right, you know? Yeah, well, this song, I think, flows very well. Mm-hmm. Um, and I really like the way they use the drums um, in this tune. To, you know, it, it provides a sort of a second line, a counterpoint to the acoustic guitar and the vocals. And I think it's really done well. Yeah, really, really kicks up the energy a little bit, which is really cool. It's it's really quite lovely stuff. I'm impressed. And the last tune. Yeah, Devin Resnick with These Tears out of Leominster, Massachusetts, just north of Worcester. Ooh, yeah. that is beautiful. I love her lyrics on this in particular, like the way she phrases her sentences and the sort of rhythms of how she speaks are so unique. I don't hear a lot of artists going for that sort of style, and I really like it here. She's, I think, got a lot of soul, and uh, you can hear that in her voice. It's a, it's a really catchy tune. Very um, catchy. I, I could catch myself humming that for the rest of the week, I swear. Yeah, it it, it really is. And she's a very young artist and um, has got, obviously, a lot ahead of her. So, Absolutely. Yeah. And the arrangement on this track is also really good. I'm always a fan of keyboards and organs on songs. You know me. I'm always mm-hmm. into those. But outside of even just that, it's got this Americana, but also indie rock thing going. Yeah. It's not strictly one or the other. It's somewhere in between. So cool. what's next? Hmm? We've got a black, um, basically some some Connecticut tunes, all from... Uh, Sort of the New Haven and also New Hartford area. And we should start out with an artist from New Haven. Well, I should say a band from New Haven called The Bargain with The Road Ahead. <laughs> 